It is day two of Electric Picnic 2014 and Sleep Thieves have dropped by our uh, our little blue room. Uh, you've got no mud in you. What's the story? What, what's happened? What hasn't happened? We, we might have been <laughs> well, being, being it last night <laughs> because we had a gig last night and a gig today so we decided to uh, look, look it up. Er, early to bed? Yeah, well, half twelve. It's pretty early, I suppose. It yeah. was pretty early. Yeah. Look, I, I'm really glad you, you, you brought a, a prop as well, which is uh, the, your, your second album, uh, You Want the Night. Lovely artwork. Um, tell, me, tell me about this, actually, because i have been kind of hounding you on Twitter for the last year, <laughs> saying, come on, when's the, album done? when's the album done? You often hear about, oh, the difficult second album. Surely any album is difficult to make. Did, how, how did you find this one to make? It was an easy album, and I, I suppose it's an easy album because it, it it's a totally different album and it's a different band. So I suppose for us it like was like a first album, and it literally was it was made in maybe four months. Um, we did it ourselves. Um, Keith recorded it. Uh, it was in a bedroom of a house and um, a house down in Wexford and in Dublin and. Basically, it was really quick. Um, once Sparks went online, we got signed, and then we had a deadline because we thought, well, we want it out next year, so we had to send it to the label by December. They wanted the whole album. They didn't need to hear, you know, they wanted our interpretation, what it was going to sound like. So, yeah, it was really quick and really good, but after that, there's a lot of build-up. I suppose it was ready. It was done by the 1st of January, and we just waited because we wanted to release singles and we wanted to get things going outside of Ireland as well. So... Yeah, it was ready to go, but we were kind of sitting on it a little bit. I haven't seen you actually playing live in the last while. Is this kind of, in some ways, the electric picnic, a homecoming for the band? Maybe, yeah. Um, I suppose, like, I mean, the 10th the we're playing today is probably our biggest show to date, I'd imagine, like, you know. So, like, we're really looking forward to, to playing big, you know what I mean? Like, playing, hearing the songs that big, you know. Yeah. So, like, I mean, that's, that's going to be, that's going to be definitely something interesting, you know. Like we like a big stage. It's yeah. it'll be fun to have room to to move to, yeah. and to really feel we can get involved in the songs. Yeah. And I think I suppose we did a lot of we did quite a lot of gigs this summer, but this is definitely the pinnacle. And we were yeah. just saying earlier the next gig is San Francisco, so yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. things are going pretty well. So the record label you're signed to are they based over in the states? Uh, <coughs> they're from Chicago. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we were picked or you know accepted for a festival called Culture Collide um, in. San Francisco, and then it moves down to LA. You know, midweek San Francisco weekend in LA. So we're going from one to the other. We're doing three shows over like five days: one in San Fran and two in LA. So that's going to be quite an adventure. We're looking forward to that, though. Yeah, is it your mm. first time playing the states? Yes. Well, yeah. This band, yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's that's what. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of one of those things. Oh, pinch me! Is this happening? Oh, mm. yeah. yeah. And you just have to kind of keep. The, the thing is, as a band, you're always setting yourselves new goals. So every time you get something, you're having to set yourself three more things in the future. And then suddenly you look at it and you go, wow, we just got offered those three things. Yeah. So it's amazing. And you have to keep reminding yourself to appreciate the moment, not yeah. always be looking ahead, you know. And Because yeah. already, like, we'd be writing new songs and things. It's like, well, actually, we have to appreciate what we're doing now and, and love playing these songs, and w which we do. Yeah. But you're always looking ahead thinking, right, what's next? Where are we going? Because if you're not, you're not really moving forward. It's kind of like we there's a lot of drive going on as in we're driving forward but you kind of take a bit of time to look out the window sometimes you know because like things are moving fast and we're always saying oh wouldn't it be amazing if we did this or wouldn't it be amazing if we hit this goal or whatever like that but then you're kind of like hold on a second have a look back we're, we've actually done an all right amount this year like you know considering like it's just the three of us you know yeah the labels in the states and that's amazing but we're actually we take care of ourselves you know so it's kind of it's an interesting thing like well, look, it's great to see you again. Um, I'm going to try and make it over and see the set a little bit later on. And best of luck with everything, especially the, the dates in the States. Yeah. Thanks, yeah, Dan. Dan, can we just say thank you so much for all your support over yeah, the years yeah, as well? It's been exactly. amazing. Pleasure.